Okay, so in this problem we're given a ball that's launched at an angle of 50 degrees with an initial velocity of 30 meter per second and this ball is going to fly through the air to this clown that's standing on top of this tower and we're given the horizontal uh, X displacement from where the ball is launched to the position where the tower is located. Um, and the, the angle the ball is launched at is 50 degrees. And the first question wants us to find uh, the height of the tower, which is going to be the vertical displacement of the ball from start point to end point. Uh, so this Y is going to be what we're looking for, the height of the tower, uh, so that the ball lands perfectly in the arms of the clown. So before we do anything, we need to break... Um, the 30 meter per second into X component, Y component using trig. You're just finding the sides of the triangle. So for VX initial, we're going to use cosine 50 times 30, and that gives an X velocity of 19.284 meters per second. And our initial Y velocity using sine, again, just finding the sides of this triangle. Uh, VY initial is 22.981 meter per second. Okay, so the realization, so, so focusing on the first question, finding the height of the tower. Oh, and I should be clear here and mention our accelerations. Uh, we always know the X acceleration to be zero, even though it's not specifically stated, we know that to be true. And the Y acceleration is gravity negative 9.8. Okay, so um, the solution is, this is not a lengthy solution, but the realization that we have to have is that uh, time traveled in the X is equal to time traveled in the Y. So as the ball flies through the air, it's moving in the X direction and the Y direction. Uh, and time of travel for the X is the same as time of travel in the Y. So when the ball reaches the top of the tower right here, it did travel in the X and it did travel in the Y, and the time is the same. So in solving the first question here, um, we need to find the time for the ball to travel from start point to the tower and we don't have enough information in the y direction because we're missing the height of the tower but we can find um, the time it takes to reach the tower by using the x direction so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find time time for ball to reach the tower and we're going to use the X direction. All right, so our, our only equation for the X direction is X equals velocity X multiplied by time. So time will be X over VX, and we have both of those. So X is 60 meters. Velocity X is 19.284. And this gives a time of 3.111. Oops, not meter per second. That's just second. Okay, so this time is going to allow us to now find where the ball will be. So now we're going to switch thought to the vertical direction. So let me shrink this down to make some room. So we'll scale this down. Okay, so now that we know the time for the ball to reach the tower, we are going to find the ball's vertical displacement, which actually is going to be the position and the reason for that is the starting position is zero. Uh, find the ball's vertical displacement at t equals 
seconds. So we can do that using the first kinematic, y equals one-half gt squared plus vy initial t. So we just plug into here, one-half negative 9.8 time is 3.111 squared plus our vy initial, we're using the y direction, is 22.981 meter per second and again the time is 3.111 seconds okay and this gives us a y displacement of 24.06 meters uh, meaning from start to end vertically in 3.11 seconds the ball had a displacement and remember displacement only cares about starting point so vertically the ball started here and vertically <clears throat> it ended here so this y displacement is the height of the tower so for the ball to land perfectly in the clown's arm arms um, <clears throat> the tower needs to be 24.06 meters high all right, on to the second question, which is <clears throat> what will be the ball's velocity when it reaches the clown? So this is a vector problem. Shrink this down. Okay, so finding the, <clears throat> the, the ball's velocity when it reaches the clown. So if we look right here, <clears throat> when the ball reaches the clown, it's going to be traveling at an angle, which means it has x component and y component. And we already know the x velocity of the ball to be 19.284. Uh, x velocity remains constant. Um, and another way of saying that is the acceleration in the x is 0. But now what we need to find is when the ball reaches the clown, what is the y velocity? Um, and the question that we're solving, we're, we're asked to find this black vector here, which represents the total velocity of the ball when it reaches the clown. So let's solve for this y velocity. So the equation that we can use is vy final equals vy initial plus gt. vy final is going to be so our initial y velocity is 22.981 meter per second and then gravity is negative 9.8 and the time is 3.11 seconds so this comes out as a final y velocity of negative 7.507 So now we have this. And the only thing remaining to do is Pythagorean theorem. We have both si we have both sides of the triangle. So we use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I'm not going to show the calculation for Pythagorean theorem, but the answer comes out as 20.7. I'm going to round that. 20.7 meter per second. And that's only half the answer because we also need to include the direction since velocity is a vector. So theta is tangent inverse 7.507 over 19.284, just uh, opposite over adjacent. And the angle comes out as 21.3 degrees. So the final answer for um, 
The second question, the ball's velocity when it reaches the clown is 20.7 meters per second, comma, 21.3 degrees below the horizontal.